200 years ago, our public schools looked something like this. They became our foundation. Every community was built around one. Then towns, cities, and states. And soon we came to understand that a strong America meant good public schools for all of our children. Parents for public schools and the people who are engaged in our work generally believe that public schools are the cornerstone of our democracy. Parents for Public Schools encourages parents to be engaged with their children's education and with the education of all students in the school. What we find is that when there is a high achieving school getting the kind of results we want to see in our public schools, you can always find engaged parents, without a doubt. Founded in 1991, Parents for Public Schools has now grown to include chapters throughout the country. I feel it's an important organization because what works well to educate all children is a combination of good leadership, good teachers, but parent involvement. The easier we can make it for parents to be effective in making sure that their children succeed academically, we will have a healthier community, a safer community, we'll have a more prosperous community. So it's a no-brainer. Parents play a huge role in the success of their student and the achievement of the school as a whole. PPS helps parents find their voice. And that's what Parents for Public Schools is trying to involve those parents, engage those parents, and see to it that every child gets a quality education. Parents for Public Schools is an organization that's been around for a little while and it's done an amazing job in reaching out to minority communities. What it does more than anything else is it empowers parents to be amazing advocates for their children and it gives them the tools to do that. Feeling a sense of ownership of our schools in San Francisco has been one that the school district has embraced and um, parents have appreciated that type of partnership, um, we feel that we have a voice. It's very important because as a community Latina, we don't have much resources, much information, and we need the information to be more dependent on our children and their education. We're constantly trying to engage more parents and monolingual parents in Spanish and Chinese, um, different communities um, to have a voice in their schools and at the district level on many district decisions. We know that parents are an essential partner in the school system that is sometimes left out and sometimes not empowered to advocate for their kids. So we work to make sure that the parent's voice is heard, parent and family. So on the school board, for example, we want to listen to the voices of families. But, you know, those voices come to us at different volumes and with different frequencies. And we don't hear as much from people who've traditionally not been engaged with the system and understand how to, to speak for their kids. And PPS does a great job of helping some of these folks find their voice, and that's really, really important. Me interesa el involucramiento de los padres a, los, uh, a las escuelas y con los maestros. It really is helping parents understand um, both their rights and how they can be more empowered to make change happen for their children and the fact that they are being as inclusive and across the board as they are in terms of their, their outreach in the community, it's actually making sure that when we talk about parent involvement, we're talking about all parent involvement. PPS chapters across the country enlist local parent volunteers to address specific challenges within their own districts. For example, uh, Parents for Public Schools of Jackson saw the need to bring the arts back into our schools. We've been very successful over the last six years in bringing arts education into 29 schools across the district, working with more than 100 teachers and building a partnership from local arts organizations and about 20 local artists. Another parent was able to actually triple the number of students who were enrolled in advanced placement courses. As a result of that, the district as a whole tripled the number of advanced placement offerings in high schools throughout the district. In Cincinnati, student safety walking to and from schools was an issue. So PPS parent volunteers established a walking school bus to ensure that children arrive at school safely and ready to learn. 
In Tupelo, Mississippi, science scores needed strengthening, so PPS volunteers with science and teaching backgrounds raised money to establish a kid-friendly science lab. Our partnership with Parents for Public Schools has led us to assess our um, situation and a weakness here that we had at Lawndale, which was science in fifth grade. And every child deserves to have experiences at school that are going to make them be better learners. So it's truly been an effort that our parents can feel proud that they were a part of. I really liked all the experiments we did. We could actually see how it worked, so it was a lot easier to understand. One of the things Parents for Public Schools tries to do is help parents understand how schools work and where they can plug into that system. So training parents is one of our key missions. The parents of public schools have made a big, big difference with me personally. It's helped to expand my knowledge of what goes on inside the classroom as well as what goes on in the State Department of Education. Well, our chapter gets very involved in policy at the district level. Um, our most recent work was uh, around an anti-bullying policy. It opens your eyes to so much in the schools. I mean, it really helps bridge that gap. It's like the, even the schools receive you better when they know that you know, you've know you been through, that you are a parent for public schools. They really receive you and it's like, okay, let, let's talk. Let's talk and let's see what, what can we do together to make the school district better. Parents for Public Schools is the go-to organization in Jackson, Mississippi for uh, school board appointments. Uh, when the mayor or when city council people want recommendations for the school board, they often come to the Jackson chapter representative. The reason I became involved with a Parents for Public Schools is simply because I wanted to see great things happen for my child and for the other children in the district. Cora Jackson was so empowered by Parents for Public Schools that she ran for her local school board and now serves in that capacity in Shaw, Mississippi. I am very pleased that the tools I've learned from Parents for Public Schools have given me the assurance that I know what I am to do and it has given me the confidence to get involved and to encourage other parents and officials as well as administrators to come aboard and join in the process of improving public schools for our children. Parents for Public Schools National Organization strengthens local chapters in communities large and small. What's amazing is that each chapter has the ability to, to be their own entity, to have strength in their community, to tie into their local uh, community schools and school boards, but at the same time to work within a shared experience of communities throughout the country. And being a chapter organization, we are so fortunate to be able to call on National for uh, just advice and for uh, opportunities to collaborate with other chapters on different initiatives and how they've addressed certain issues. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity to share experience with each other and to use our strength as individuals to bring power to the, to the whole. So they come to the program initially concerned about their individual student our children and they leave us recognizing that they're working for the betterment of all children in all public schools. Our charge, our goal, is to promote the public schools, to highlight the achievements of our children, and to educate the community on the benefits of public education we know that there are many public schools doing a great job every day all across America. And Parents for Public Schools believes that the efforts of those communities, schools, parents, teachers, and students should be at the forefront of the discussion on public education. Too often you hear about failing schools, but we know that many schools are doing incredible things with kids every day. They are educating the future citizens of this country. They're educating the scholars, the athletes, the artists. They're producing citizens who will be a wonderful workforce for this country, who will continue with economic development, who will provide arts in their communities, who will go to the polls and vote, who will be simply great citizens educated by public schools in America. We know that many of these schools are doing a job every day that is worthy to be emulated, and partly they're doing it because of engaged parents. Uh, my personal experience is that whenever you see a quality public school, 
it represents a community that wraps its arms around its schools. It took generations to build America's public schools. What it will take to make them better is you. Call Parents for Public Schools. Find a way to do your part.